In the 1980s, Lindsay Cairns was goat farming on a large scale, producing cash gora fibre. When the industry lost its momentum, he bought and upgraded a woolen fabric weaving business to work with mohair, cash gora and alpaca fibres. We're a weaving company, so that means we don't spin the yarn. We have the yarn processed by another company and we weave and brush and finish and distribute the finished product. My background was farming. I was um, farming bulls and um, had some rough gullies of gorse at the back of the farm and um, decided goats would be something that would be useful on there and um, got involved in goats in the early days and from that stage that gave me, I suppose, an interest in, in fibre and then this company came up for sale, it was defunct, it had been set up after the um, retail development and I got involved, purchased half of it and as a, basically as an off-farm interest at that stage and after being involved for about 18 months decided that this had some interest and potential so we sold half the farm and brought my partner out and shifted the business to where we are mastered in here today. The goat industry went through um, quite a growth stage and then settled and had a bit of a fallout and so to say I was farming bulls which was reasonably straightforward the goats were the interesting side of that and then when the goats weren't so interesting we dropped our numbers I mean at the peak of it we were farming just over 3,000 goats uh, we dropped our numbers and it was looking probably for some another interest and the intention was as an off-farm investment rather than really get too involved we work with two fibers only now and this is an example of Alpaca fibre. Alpaca comes in a range of colours from white right through to black, oranges, browns and greys in, in between. So it's, it's from a, a natural product, beautiful to work with because you've got such a range of, of natural colours. That is blended and the end result with the likes of that fibre would be this big clay yarn. That is woven and the end result would be that alpaca throw. It's hypoenergetic, which means it doesn't seem to irritate people. Some people will find that um, other fibres will be itchy or irritate them. Alpaca doesn't do that. It's a hollow fibre, so it retains its warmth very well. And we are using the natural colour, so again, it's that natural homegrown product. We source from both Australia and New Zealand, and we try and keep our separate Australian uh, customers get Australian fibre and we source the New Zealand fibre for our New Zealand customers. We probably find a little bit of a hard job getting enough New Zealand fibre, so even now and then we'll have a little bit of Australian added to the New Zealand stuff to pad that along. In New Zealand we sell to all your high-end retail stores and your uh, smaller homeware stores and tourist stores. Goat fibre, mohair, that's all New Zealand grown and sourced, and most of that is grown in the, the South Island, again processed in uh, Napier for us, and then that's woven into the same style of product, throws, knee wraps and scarves. Mohair comes from the Angora goat, which is not to be confused with Angora, which comes from Angora rabbit. And goats also produce cashmere and cashgora. And the division of that basically is the cashmere is a very fine underdown you'll find on the feral type goat. Cashgora is that intermediate fibre which comes off a basically a first cross animal, feral versus the um, angora goat. And the angora goat produces this beautiful, lustrous mohair. The Biggest issue for us using your packer fibre is the range of colours, which is the plus, of course, because we can make all that beautiful range of natural colours. But the downside is, from a manufacturing point of view, you've got so many colours over so many microns that to get big enough quantities to commercially run through the system is an issue. But that is getting sorted over time. The mohair supply is OK, but the production in New Zealand is falling and the price re being received by um, farmers for mohair is um, very good. So 
at some stage I expect that to, to lift, but at the moment it's, um, it's not. But there's enough for us. This is a Dornier weaving loom made in Germany, and the difference between the more modern looms is the yarn is fed by a rapier rather than a traditional loom. You have a shuttle flying backwards and forwards. With these, the, there are individual insertions, so this rapier or, or needle collects the yarn and takes it out to the, the middle of the shed, passes it to the other rapier, and takes it back. It is then beaten up, so that is one insertion. These machines are controlled by a punch card, which is basically pre-computer days. We still use this, it's very mechanical, works very well. We punch the pattern we require onto the card, the card feeds into the loom and the loom reads these holes. Uh, obviously today um, computers are fitted to these looms, we've managed to stay or opted to stay with the, the punch card. It, it's a nice simple way and it, and it works. All the fibre we use is spun in a, in a boucle form which is in loops and this is what when we come to our brushing, it's the loops that give us that material to brush out. This is the head of the teasel plant. Not used a lot today, but we use them and I say the head starts off like that. We purchase them in that form uh, and these are grown in Spain specifically for um, us and a few other people around the world that, that use these. We find they make the best job as a machine we've developed ourselves to use the teasels and to give us that nice brush. With mohair or alpaca, um, with these boucle yarns, the trick is to pull that loop out and just draw the fibre out of that loop until you end up with a nice fluffy um, brushed effect. Uh, break it too hard and it breaks and um, pull it just softly and it works. Teasels, uh, they've got a built-in flex, it's, it's nature at, at its best and we've tried to replicate it um, in all sorts of other ways, but we can't. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.